Welcome to Truck and Travel. I'm Derek. Haven't seen that thing in a while, have you? Just want to give a little trailer update for you guys. A gentleman by the name of James from Texas. We got a Texas Texan uh, buying the old trailer. Pretty excited about that. I'm gonna leave the old numbers on here just in case he wants them. Um, the batteries are dead, unfortunately. I'm pretty sad about that, James. Real sorry about that. I uh, just want to let you know I'm letting this go with it. Has like a tire valve right there type thing. And I got a hook up right here, a decent sized hose that goes into this little uh, quick release setup I set up right here. So that way you can watch the, the gauge and uh, don't go any further than uh, 120. Um, when... Uh, this knob's pulled out and that lever is to the left. Um, both airbags are gonna be full. And that's important because there's a certain setting on there to where the backside airbags aren't full but it looks like it's raised. So, gotta make sure all of them are full. They're good to go. Let's see here. So I'm going to push this in. And that raises up those reels right there so it lifts up the lift axle. So it should, it's like an airbag right underneath there. You, I don't know if you can really see it, but that, that one fills up and uh, we'll lift it up. It's not going um, all the way up just because this still needs some air and I'm going to go ahead and Fill that up real quick. All right, so she is lifted up there, completely full. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out there. But yep, she's lifted off the ground right there. Looks really good. Um, I went ahead and stopped it a little before 120. So that is this lever pushed in, and that is still to the left. Okay, so when you want to uh, put something on your trailer here, you want all the air out of the airbag. So we're going to take this lever and put it downwards. And leave, leave that how it is. I don't know if you can even hear me, but leave the knob how it is. Turn the other lever down. See that airbag is getting empty. That one's getting empty. And then the other one's getting empty as well. Um... I guess it's just a good rule of thumb to uh, do this before you put a load on. Make it a lot easier in suspension than once it's your trailer's loaded. Um, you're going to go ahead and uh, um, flip that lever back and then we're going to pull that knob out. And I'll go ahead and put some more. Well, I guess we got air still in the tank, so we'll go ahead and uh, hit this. gonna raise up a little bit not a whole lot just because we still got to put air back in the tank but it is pretty impressive how much this sucker moves with not a whole lot of air I'm gonna miss this thing I really do love it it is like a freaking Cadillac of trailers I mean, you're, you're not going to get a lot of loads that require uh, air ride suspension for hot shots, but it definitely is nice uh, pulling an air ride trailer. 
And if you can add air ride to your pickup truck, all the better. It's freaking awesome. I'm gonna, yeah, this thing's awesome. Ugh, it, it is awesome. But yeah, it was about 117 and now it's down to about, I don't know, 45 or 43, whatever that is. <laughs> So yes, I hope this uh, helps you out and all the woods right there. There's a couple boards underneath right there. I didn't know how low or tall your truck was. So we went ahead and we got that right there. You can go ahead and have them boards and just throw them up there if you want them or leave them. It doesn't matter. But yeah, you guys, uh, the trailer is sold. Uh, viewer by the name of James. Really appreciate James and uh, pretty exciting. It's uh, probably going to be gone Monday. So I don't know when this video is going to come out. Maybe I'll release it Monday just for fun. Or I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, it's been a good trailer. Oh, before I forget, uh -oh. there's some extra sensors. Here, well, before I even go any further, here's this cord right here. This cord, as you can see it shaking right there, goes to, you can see the little knob right there. Well, you can't. All right, so anyways, here's the air tank right here. And you're gonna want to pull the cord so that way you drain it out. That way if there's any water in there, you drained it out in the ground and of course there's no water in it right now just because the battery's been dead okay there we go and there's this is a sensor for the the air compressor um, I did have one go back because I wasn't draining the tank like I should so there'd be water that would get in this thing or whatever and freeze so that's what gave me problems with this thing before. So that, so once I got educated on that, um, I started draining it out once a day. So that way in the winter time it doesn't freeze. So you're gonna, you're gonna get this guy. And then I had these uh, in the pickup truck, these, these are the sensors. So there's two here. The chains and all that stuff I said I'd give you, they're right there. Uh, but yeah, these two sensors. I don't know how much they cost, but they're useless to me. I'm sure I could use them for something else if I, I wanted to throw them on a car, but I'd rather give them to you so that way you're ready for the road. But yeah, I hope this thing treats you a lot better. I'm really excited. James is... Uh, Looking to go with uh, Landstar, and um, so James is looking to go with Landstar and uh, work around some oil fields in Texas. So I'm really excited about that. I think it's going to be a great um, area for him. And uh, Landstar seems like a pretty solid company. Like if we were going to stay with uh, hot shotting, we was going to get rid of our uh, authority. And we was going to switch over to Landstar just because they have a lot of contract loads and uh, cheaper insurance than what we had. And uh, they got a better fuel discount than what we was getting. So we would have saved more money and uh, it would have been a lot easier to find loads because they have their own load board. And uh, yeah, so would have been a lot better to deal with that than... Uh, the spot market using like I can't even remember truck stop or whatever that was truckstop.com but nonetheless I feel pretty good about his journey and I hope that he'll keep me updated on how he's doing and whatnot and uh, maybe I can keep you guys updated as well if you want but yeah this was the awesome trailer and uh, I hope it treats him just as good as it treated us and uh thank you guys so much for watching and uh i hope you guys uh continue to watch our journey into uh expediting and who knows what else uh, we might get into uh, if this is it or if we get our own truck or i don't know but 
who knows um yeah thanks for hanging out guys god bless you guys and we'll see you next time bye